I wanted to share with you a pretty cool re reading comprehension book that I bought. Um, I bought this a week ago. I ordered it from eBay and um, it came in today. Okay, this is reading comprehension and this book is for grades 3 through 4. Um, it's from the IF company, the 100 plus series. Let's see down here. Um, I guess you can find it at CarsonDeLosa.com. The IF stands for Instructional Fair. And here's a... You can pause the video and read that if you want. Okay, so I got this today, and I looked through it all, and I am very, very pleased with it. Okay. Um... For those of you interested in standards, which we are not, but it says aligned to state and national standards, um, supports national reading standards, closed and open-ended questions, variety of genres, cross-curriculum selections. So, once again, this is for reading comprehension, and they have them for different um, different topics as well. This one is copyrighted 2003. Okay. So here's the table of contents. Um, you have some reading comprehension, reading selections with questions focusing on the main idea, identifying details, summarizing, compare and contrast, cause and effect, fact and opinion, classifying, author's purpose, referencing, point of view, uh, reference, uh, vocabulary, identifying genre, poetry, story and characters, story setting, story plot, storing, or sorry, story and mixed elements, and then the answers are in the back. So, here is the first reading selection. They have these for other grades as well. And this is a third through fourth grade. Okay, so this first lesson here is over the heart, and it actually gives you some factual information. You know, your heart beats 100,000 times a day, um, tells the size and the shape of your heart, um, what your blood does. So, you know, you read this, and then it gives you some questions that you answer to see if you comprehend what you just read. And this is the next lesson, Insects in Winter. And see it. Um, it tells you what category these uh, lessons are in. Like this one focuses on the main idea, and so does this one. Okay. And here is what these questions look like: in hibernation and its questions, a celery clip, and its questions. And it actually tells you, um, you know, what a celery clip is. Um, for hibernation, it actually, once again, gives the reader information about it. And there's Pompeii and some dyes. kind of tells about um, how dyes, what they were first made out of, you know, plants and stuff like that. Um, some history, little history lesson here, Marco Polo. And there's other um, explorers that this mentions, too. It talks about a Magellan and... Vasco da Gama. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how many lessons that there are in here. I did not count that up. They're not labeled lesson one or two, so I did not count that up. But um, there, are, there are 120 pages total, <clears throat> and most of the lessons are just one page, but there are some that has this big story on one page and then the questions on the other so you know but I'd say there's at least over a hundred lessons anyway and here it actually tells you who invented dynamite and more information about it okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through every page but um, here's a section on Stonehenge and it even you know talks about um, 
some other things, like this one's on the Loch Ness Monster. Um, then there's another one over, um, see, the Milky Way, a hurricane. Um, okay, this one talks about bar barbed wire, like uh, how, how it was invented and who invented it. Over here is mold, you know, and pen penicillin. But the one I was wanting to tell you about, um, oh, superstitions, right here. Um, on things that some people, you know, some people believe in superstitions, some people don't, but on things like that, um, they don't, anything that might be, you know, you know, you believe one way or the other, they're not listing it as a fact or anything. They're just, you know, saying, like, some pe like in this case, some people you know, uh, most people today do not believe old superstitions. Um, you know, it just talks about, um, okay, like the abominable, abominable snowman. Um, let's see, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't talk about it being as a fact. Oh, what was the one I was wanting to, okay, it was Vasco de Balboa, not Gamma. The History on Chocolate. Sweet article. Let's see. What was the one I was wanting to talk about? Oh, this one right here. The Great Ice Age. What I really, really like about this book um, that I had said, it does not give anything as, as a fact, you know. But what I really love about this particular article, we do not believe in millions of years ourselves. We only believe the Earth is like 6,000 something years old and most publishers you know unless they say we're a Christian publishing company but most of them will um, you know give you the millions of years this book it doesn't go either way it doesn't say millions of years or it doesn't say 6,000 it just says long ago and I was really pleased that this one you know whether you believe millions of years or believe 6,000 um, you know, this article right here, you can use it. So, um, I really, I really liked how, um, even on the solar system stuff, you know, it didn't say millions of years ago, it just, um, anyway, it's just really good. But, um, so I looked through here this morning and I did not find anything to worry about as far as, um, you know, evolution, or millions of years, or um, things like that. There was nothing in here to have any concern over that. And the second thing I really loved about it is the reading. It's all, you know, factual, informational. It's not just stories, you know, like, Billy Jane and Sally were out riding their bike, and blah, blah, blah. So it's all... So while this is a reading comprehension thing, they give you good, you know, informational reading selections, and I just, I'm just so excited about it. I just really, really like it, and I really wish I had known about this sooner, but better late than never. Okay, these sections here are, are story and characters, you know, so these are stories and selections of the stories, like there's Black Beauty, and this one here is um, Volcano Adventure, just a story. Here's one, Little Women. Okay. But in the back, you have the answer key. So, have all the answers. But anyway, um, yeah, I bought this from someone on eBay, and it was brand new. Um, I just thought I would share that with you.